Now let's see this problem. In an equilateral triangle ABC, the side BC is trisected at D. Find the value, uh, find value of AD square. First of all, I just draw an equilateral triangle over here. Now this is the triangle and uh, this is side BC and this is AD. Now I draw a perpendicular. Okay. Now what is happening over here? This is triangle A, B, C. This is D and this is a perpendicular. So I assume this to be L, this point to be L, right? Mm -hmm. Now in an equilateral triangle, this perpendicular actually bisects the side, right? That means BL is equal to LC, right? Now to make the problem convenient to solve, what we can do is we can take the comfortable values of A, B, B, C and A, C, right? Since it is an equilateral triangle, uh, you, uh, all the three values will be same, right? So what I assume the side of this triangle to be six, right? Now, uh, BC is trisected at D, that means BD must be 2. Now, BL is equal to LC, that means uh, BL must be 3. If it is 2, it has to be 1, right? Now, see triangle ALB, right? In this triangle, AL square will be what? AB square minus BL square, right? So, AL square is equal to AB square, that is 36 minus BL square, that is 9. And that is 36 minus 9, 27, right? And uh, in this triangle ALD, AD square is what? AL square plus LD square. So AL square is 27 and uh, LD square is 1. So that's 28. So AD square is 28. Okay, now you know the value of AB, that is 6. Just uh, put up the value of AB in the option. You will be, whenever you get uh, 28 as AD square, that will be the correct option. So that's 9 by 7 into 8. AB square is 36. You won't get an integral solution. 7 by 9 into 36. So 7 fourths are 28. So AD square is 20 that you are getting in this option. So that's pretty simple, right? So if you assume the comfortable values of the site, it will be very easy for you to solve, okay?